Ready for more from Glass Tech? Then keep watching because we're not done yet. I'm Ellen Rogers, editor of U.S. Glass Magazine, and after four days in Dusseldorf, there is still plenty to talk about. Let's get started. Remember that swinging glass zip line we showed you last week? That was just one exhibit here in the Glass Technology Live area of the show. This is where research and industry come together to show just how amazing glass is. Here's a look at some of the other highlights that caught our eye. Eckersley O'Callaghan is not afraid to push the limits to find out just how much glass can do. We caught up with Lisa Ramming to hear about a curved glass project she worked on with North Glass that gives glass a whole new way to bend. It's panels that are at the tallest point, um, about four meters tall, and uh, they are doubly curved, laminated, two layers, and they've got two different frets on them to show and increase that impression of the double curvature. North Glass have developed a new oven uh, that allows them to do that. And we're very happy that we managed to get four panels here that we could cantilever from the ground. It would be very interesting to use this uh, technology to stiffen glass. If we think of facades and we think of glass is designed to very strict deflection criteria and as it is flat, um, it deflects a lot. As soon as we enter or add this double curvature, we actually need less glass to be able to achieve the same stiffness. And that is something uh, that has a lot of potential. We have a problem that glass um, is produced in a process that is very inefficient and uses a lot of energy and a lot of glass goes to waste and therefore the embodied carbon is very high. But I think what this shows is that if we think smartly about the way that we design with glass, that we can actually use less material to achieve the same result. Architects continue to push for increasingly complex facades. Glazing is a big part of that, but it takes a lot more. Let's check out a parametric structure made possible thanks to a unique connection system. What is really special and unique about this parametric facade is that it's a combination of a well-developed, for years in use system, our first facade system, that we use to make just the normal facades. But the problem nowadays is that we get more and more um, inquiries to really build something parametric. So the problem is actually to get the water out of the system, to make sure that it doesn't in infiltrate. That's why, together with uh, Theo Delft and our FIDI, Leah Tramontini, and one of our partners in Germany, who is a um, static company, an engineering company, we developed these knots that are printed out of stainless steel or steel, whatever. We're using stainless steel here in, at, that at that moment to make sure that we can combine this old system together with a new development but still make sure that the water is kept outside. And the other new invention that we introduced here is that we also printed the gasket knots. Before we sign off today, here's one more from Glass Technology Live that's really going to make you smile. So what we brought here as, as iRise is um, dynamic liquid crystal glass. So this is a product that can switch, adapt actually to uh, different weather conditions of a building. You can dynamically switch that facade from bright to dark. Well, basically because we can switch so fast, we can do a lot more. We can do really a, an interaction, a human interaction with the glass. For that, we teamed up together with uh, the University of Delft and the University of Cambridge, and they created a um, like software for it, an uh, artificial intelligence uh, software with facial recognition. Um, the idea was that if you're working in an, um, in an office and the sun is hurting you, is actually you know, disturbing you, there's too much glare, you would make certain facial expressions, to frown for example, to say, well, I don't want this sun. The glass would react on that and actually then adapt to your needs. 
for these conditions actually, or for this setup in the, in the show, we yeah. changed that into smiling at the glass. It's a lot easier for people to ask to, to do that as well. And in that way, actually, the facial recognition software will recognize your smile and change the glass uh, brightness according to that. And with that, our Glass Tech 2022 coverage is done. From the glass to the machinery and to all the people, it was great to be back in the halls of Mesa Dusseldorf. We're already looking to 2024 and hope to see you there as well. Thanks for watching.